Things have been going wrong long enough to know when everything is right. I've been walking in the dark long enough to know when I finally see the light. I've been losing long enough to know when I finally won. Cause even a, a blind man can tell when he's walking in the sun. Fellow Toastmasters, future Toastmasters, honored guests, is the sun shining for you? Can you feel the warmth of the sun in your life experience? Are you inspired, inspired each day by those things that come into your experience? This song speaks of recognizing those things that most of us take for granted. The sunshine, does it not shine every day? But our experience colors how we receive the warmth of the sun. And my question to you is, do you understand what magnificent points of light you are? Do you understand what magnificent shape shifters you are? Just like the sun that can bring forth trees, take a seed, a little water, and change it into a mighty oak. Having to bend in the wind some days, having to bask in the hot, hot heat of the sun on other days. Shape shifting, always shape shifting. But this is what I say to you. Do you realize what magnificent points of light you are? Because your shape shifting comes from intention. Science is starting to prove what spiritual people already know. That there are rules to this universe that apply to each and every one of us. And all of us have been gifted with the resources and the opportunity to accept or to deny the shifting of our own shape. It's important for us all to realize that what shapes us depends on our evolution, depends on our self-awareness, depends on our culture. You know, what goes on in the mind of a small child when the world is brand new to them? They have no fear. They don't know fear. We grow up learning fear. What about the mind of a child who has to think about serious thoughts, something comes, and it shifts you in a moment. In an instant, you can be shifted. Do we lose that ability as adults? I'm telling you, no, we don't lose that as adults. We choose not to use that gift. In 1957, there was a movie that came out, The Incredible Shrinking Man. Does anybody remember that movie? The Incredible Shrinking Man? It was about a gentleman who on a leisurely uh, cruise with his wife went through a radiation cloud. Well, the cloud had a negative effect in that this man began to decrease in size rapidly. This decrease in size changed his perspective of the world in many, many ways. Not just because at some point he was tinier than a doll in a dollhouse. Not because at some point he had to battle the spider in the basement. But his mind, at the end of the movie, and I remember being about seven years old when I saw this movie, and it shape shifted me because I hadn't thought about what this man was going through. As a seven-year-old child, I'm seeing this cat come after him, and I'm thinking, oh, no, I don't want that to be me. And I'm seeing his wife find a chicken bone and thinking it's him. 
And then I'm listening to this man at the end as he is inspired by his experience. When he says to himself, I am getting smaller and smaller. I am becoming what? At that size, at the size of an atom, is he still a human being? Is he still qualified as a human being? Does he go into the infinite only to come out on the other side? All of these thoughts, and I thought about it, and I'm like, if this happened to me, what would I do? Well, I know my mom was a nurse, and she told me that germs are really bad. Germs are really bad. So I think I'm going to have to hide from the germs. I might have to fight the germs like I fight the spiders. Well, I learned some fear at that point. But what it also taught me is that when you see the tiniest thing, there may be some humanity in that. And maybe that should be considered. We shape shift all the time. Has there ever been a time in your life where something happened and at that moment you were a different person? Mm -hmm. Something that brought a realization to you that changed how you thought about a lot of things, if not everything. It could be something happened to someone you love. It could be an instant that you are in and personally involved in. Something that brings out an emotion in you that you did not know you even had. And isn't that what makes us human? Our emotions? We're inspired because we become emotionally involved in that which inspires us. We as human beings are magnificent points of light. We as human beings are magnificent shape shifters. And I'm going to prove it to you. We're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to have everybody close their eyes just for a second. We're going to be the blind man in the sun for just a second. Close your eyes. And this is what I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine an open field, a sunny day, white billowing clouds, calm, peaceful. And then you see a small child sitting in the grass. And there's like 10 little puppies just climbing all over this little kid. And he's giggling, giggling, giggling to the point where you can't help but feel the tickles. Think about that. How do you feel? What is your gauge telling you about that experience? Think about it. Now I want you to stop. I'm going to shift your energy in an instant. Keep your eyes closed. Where were you? Where were you on 9-11? What was going on? Were you watching the news? Did somebody rush the halls of where you worked to tell you the horrible, horrible news? How did you feel about your security at that moment? Think about it. Now, stop, let's reset. Recently, something really good happened to you. Something really good happened to you. Something that you really wanted to run out and tell your friends about. It was something that you had been waiting for for some time, and maybe it was some good news you got, or maybe it was something you were finally able to achieve, but something really good just happened to you not too long ago. Think about it. What was it? How did it make you feel? Can you tap into the sense of pride at an accomplishment? Can you tap into the joy of opening a box to something that you've always wanted? Just in those instances, just in this period of time that we've been talking, you have shaped, shifted. It's all in your thoughts. It's something that we humans have been gifted with. You can take the opportunity to shift your shape at any time. That's evolution. You are magnificent points of light. Magnificent shape shifters. All you have to do is make a choice. Are you walking in the sun? Are you walking in the sun? It's your choice.